Torah time. The weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it. Hi. This week's Torah portion is called Chaye Sarah, the life of Sarah. The interesting thing, though, it's about when Sarah died. Now, when Sarah died, her husband Abraham mourned her greatly. However, this isn't what I want to focus on in the Torah portion this week. What I want to focus on is how Abraham asked his servant Eliezer to go out to the land where their family was to find a wife for his son Isaac. Now, that might sound a little funny to you because nowadays we wouldn't imagine somebody else going out to find a spouse for ourselves even a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband, wife, we wouldn't imagine asking somebody else to go out and find that person for us. But that's how they did it in biblical times. So Eliezer had an idea of what he was going to do. He was going to go to this particular town and he was going to look by the water well and see if he could find a woman that would help him get water. So Eliezer made this journey and he gets to the well and he says to himself, whichever woman asks me if I would like a sip of water and asks to water all my camels, he had 10 camels with him, that will be the woman. So sure enough, he sees a woman whose name is actually Rebecca. And he goes up to Rebecca and he says, Hi, may I have a sip of water? Well, now realize that just asking for a sip of water wasn't that simple. Rebecca had this large jug on her shoulder and the jug would carry five gallons of water. That's pretty heavy. So in order to give Isaac a sip of water, she would have to lift the jug off of her shoulder, lower it down, and then pour into a ladle a little water. That was a lot of work. It wasn't like going to your fridge and just pressing a little button with a glass. So sure enough, Rebecca lowers her jug and says, not only will I give you water, sir, I will water your camels. Wow, do you know that each camel can drink over 40 gallons of water? Do you know how many trips to the well it would take Rebecca to water 10 camels at 40 gallons each? That's a lot of water and a lot of effort. He also had in his mind something very interesting. He wasn't necessarily looking for the most beautiful woman. He was looking for someone who was kind. Rebecca showed her kindness by offering him water and then offering to water the animals. Kindness is something that is so precious. You know, oftentimes we can catch ourselves judging people by their appearance we can catch ourselves looking at someone and say, well, they don't fit my idea of the ideal person, or this person doesn't look the way I think they should. That's called judging a book by its cover. And we don't ever want to do that because we can miss out on meeting a really nice and kind person. Think about that. Think about it in your daily affairs. Think about how many times we look at someone and say, oh, they have this wrong with them, or oh, that's not right about this person. The question we should ask, is this a nice person? Is this a kind person? Because those kinds of people are the kinds of people that can be real friends. Well, thanks for stopping by. Shalom. Torah time! The weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. 
What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it. 